welcome back. To draw your cliff, you gotta start off by drawing a ridge line. And you can easily do it by drawing a horizontal jagged line. Once you've found the perfect shape for your ridge line, simply draw vertical lines coming down from it and make them connect with the terrain to create uh, more immersion. As you can see, I'm not simply drawing straight vertical lines, but I'm trying to draw them to make them look like a rocky material. And if you can make uh, these vertical lines stacking into one another, you can create the illusion of uh, having drawn the sediment layers for uh, this rocky material that makes up the whole cliff. And as you can see right now, I'm simply inking uh, the outline of uh, everything uh, I've drawn so far. And once you're done with the inking process, you can start adding details, which will be the game changer. I'm adding trees, but you can add houses or any kind of reference to indicate how big the cliff actually is. This one is, for example, probably about 50-60 meters high, since the trees I've drawn are supposed to be around 10 meters in height. As for the rocky material, to add details in it is quite easy. You can simply draw dashed lines. You can draw them horizontally and try to follow the shape of the ridge line to create more uh, uh, immersion and a three-dimensional effect. And when you're done, you can start adding shadows. And you can do that either in pencil or, uh, as I'm doing here, digitally on the Procreate app. And try to make them darker in the innermost spots. And for innermost uh, spots, I mean the ones where uh, the light is most likely not hitting the rocky material, so the darker spots. As for the rest, simply use the same tone. The cliff is going to look very simple, yet uh, effective in my opinion. But these tutorials are meant to be simple and accessible to everyone, so if you want you can draw it uh, on your own without any problems. And uh, if you want to add the finishing touch, you can add the highlights to create more uh, three-dimensionality. And uh, after that, we are pretty much done. I am zooming in a little bit right now to let you see the details, but I will attach, as always, the final scan of the drawing at the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more tutorials coming. And uh, please let me know down below in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see for the future. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.